International's Convention 2023. Beyond all limits. Great, it is now my pleasure to introduce to us our convention chair. Our convention chair is Sister Ruth Obara. Sister Ruth Obara is an organizational development consultant and a transformative leader and a serious follower of Christ. Um, she's a mother, she's a wife, she is uh, married and has two, three great children. Um, she's a curious, she likes to describe herself as a curious student of awareness and alignment. Um, she's passionate about unlocking the potential of the African continent through its people. Um, she, has, she works uh, as a talent and organizational development consultant and coach. Um, she has worked with organizations that facilitate um, the development of high performance personal and team competencies, designing and structuring leadership, learning journeys, and culture alignment and development. She has actually won an award for where she has um, helped in uh, working as an executive producer for the East, African, uh, East Africa HR Summit for seven years. Um, and then uh, an annual premiere, this is an annual premiere event for HR professionals in the region where she has won the award. And she is the immediate former managing uh, partner at Sierra Africa, a niche learning and development uh, organization. She's also a co-founder and director of Busia Chicken Limited. Um, and she is currently working on a transformative leadership development module uh, contextualized for Africa um, acad and academically, she holds a Bachelor of Commerce degree and an MBA in Strategic Management from the University of um, Nairobi. A round of applause as our convention chair comes. Thank you, Kenneth. Uh, Young Professionals 2023, I can't hear you, Young Professionals 2023, and Beyond All Limits. Good morning. Hallelujah. How many of us are visitors to Nairobi Central SDA Church? You haven't been to Nairobi Central SDA Church, or you're not a member of Nairobi Central SDA Church? Nairobi Central, what do you say? Welcome our guests. Hey, we have a way we welcome. Get involved. So you're very welcome to Nairobi Central SDA Church. Our motto, our rallying call this year is get involved beyond all limits. And so allow me to take this opportunity to welcome you to this event. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and as we consider this morning, Allow me to thank and invite our most excellent invited guests. They are here. Thank you for making the time. We apologize, we are running a bit late, but we're expecting that we'll catch up as the day goes by. My pastor, thank you so much for praying and allowing us to start this meeting. Thank you very much. We would like to... As, um, as Victor is helping us with that, technology has a way of playing it out. But we are armed and equipped for the day, so don't worry. We are considering the theme of beyond all limits. And as you're invited here, it tells us that you're resonating with the theme that we have today. And you're curious about how do I get involved as a young professional beyond all limits. And so as you sit here with us today, it is our hope 
that you are going to actually start asking yourself, what does, what does it mean to get involved beyond all limits? For us to get involved beyond all limits, we'll have to know what are our current limits? What is it? Where have we been as people? Where are we sitting? Where are we stopping? How do we go beyond all limits? And most importantly, why should we go beyond all limits? And so today, we not only have the theme beyond all limits, but as a church, the host of this, the AYPs of this church, we have been given a word of revelation about how and why we should get involved beyond all limits. And the word that we are considering as our theme The word that we're considering as our theme is found in the book of John. Anyone who has their Bible, the book of John, verse chapter 15, verse 16. And as you sit with us, that is the anchor. That is the reason why we are saying we want to go beyond all limits. And in the book of John, chapter 15, verse 16, my Bible says, you did not choose me. Let me use the New King James Version. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you. Ah, okay. Great, we are here. That you did not choose me, but I chose you and I appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask, in my name, the Father will give you. Those are the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the why we want to go beyond all limits. Because we realize that we have been chosen. We did not go choosing ourselves. That when we acknowledge the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, that in itself is a choosing that he has given us, and he has given us a mission. When we look at the rallying call of the AYP of this church, they are taking their rallying call from the book of First Peter 4, verse 10 to 11. Those are scriptures that you want to keep. And Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 to 24. And those say, if anyone know, says each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength of, that God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ, to him be glory and power forever and ever. And Colossians, the book of Colossians says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. So as we ponder this, then we ask ourselves, how then do we start going beyond all limits? And today, we remember what is the truth that the Lord has sent us with in the three books we have sent, that the good news is that we are chosen that we did not even choose, out of grace we have been chosen, that we are appointed, that we have a mission, that we are blessed, you know, we are custodians of God's manifold grace that we may serve, we, that we are faithful stewards of grace, that God is revealing his grace to others through us who actually have been chosen, and therefore we shall seek to be transformed because we have a higher master, and that master I call him Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I do not know who you, what you call that master. But we no longer are now looking at who we are, what we do, as doing it unto human beings. We are having a higher master who has equipped us and called us. So in this day you have come because the AYPs have listened to this call and have decided that we would like to go beyond all limits. And how do they start there? They are starting on a journey. We are saying that let's not narrow our perspective. Let's expand the perspective of our focus and ask ourselves, how do we start going beyond all limits? Today, this morning, we are bringing to you that 
When we say we want to go beyond all limits, another language for us to use is to say we would like to pursue excellence. That we would like to pursue excellence in view of the divine heritage that we have, in view of the divine anchors that we have, we are seeking and choosing from today to pursue excellence. And therefore, we are going to start thinking. As you sit here today, my invitation is that as you listen to the very esteemed professionals that have gone before many of us, start thinking through what are your dreams? What are your aspirations as a young professional? What has your faith in Jesus Christ got to do with it? What does it mean to you to actually have the Lord Jesus Christ on your side, not only as your equipper and friend, but also as the one you're serving? So think through your dreams. Think through your aspirations. Some of us may have had the opportunity to actually do, uh, how many of us do New Year resolutions? Anyone with a list of New Year resolutions? Ah, you stopped doing them. We were doing them when we were your age. When did you stop doing them? As you go through this day, expand your perspective. Start thinking about how do your dreams resonate with this call and the truth that we are here. What is it you're hearing echoing in the voices of the speakers who are here today in what you need to do as a young professional? And we're going to look at it and say, at any one given time, Start thinking about when we are pursuing excellence, we are not just looking at it from one perspective, the professional. We want to look at it and we're asking ourselves, what does going beyond all limits mean? Where are we at as family members, as friends? All of us belong to a family, not very least the family of Christ that is here today. All of us have friends. All of us are learners. Some of us, I am a learner. I got to be given a new responsibility the other day in the church, and I'm just learning how that is supposed to be done. So we are all learners. All of us are workers. You are young professionals. So in your profession, start thinking about that as well. Associate member, we are members of this church. I am a member of this church. You belong to a professional association. So when you start looking at all these roles that you have, how, where are you? And how do you need to go beyond all limits? And it is important that as you do that, you get a glimpse of the vision. The big picture, what is the big picture? Because when we get a glimpse of what the big picture is, then we start aligning ourselves. A glimpse of the big picture, we call it vision. And the word of God says that where there is no vision, there is no revelation of God and his word, the people are unrestrained. It means we then just live life without a plan. We go all sorts of directions and all sorts of winds. But we have the privilege of a revelation as a church that we go beyond all limits because we have a call in the book of John 15 verse 16. So start thinking about a vision. Which direction would you like your life to go? And think about Esther. We know Esther in the Bible. She was just a young woman, you know, being a queen, preparing to be this queen. But then when she got a glimpse of the vision God had for her, we now know that everything changed. When we get a glimpse of the vision, the direction God wants us to go, then we actually get into action. We action ourselves. And that is the performance system. We now channel ourselves. And you can use the story of Esther to actually look at the performance that now she required. Think about performance is success is a profit, process. Going beyond all limits requires us to align and to actually get into action. And we want to think about it through our physical life. How do you need to go beyond limits? What are the goals you now put together? We want to think about it through our mental learning and education. We want to think about it through professional. Why we are here today, the young professionals have started us on that journey today. We want to think about it through our financials. We want to think about it through money and wealth creation. We want to think about going beyond all limits and establish beyond all limits goals in our social and emotional life, our relationships with ourselves, with our family and our others. We want to think about it in our spiritual walk. We are doing all this so that we can let the light of Christ shine in us so that other people who do not know Christ, when they see even just a glimpse of how your physical life is organized, they can be attracted to that God that you believe in. We are doing this so that 
When people see how we relate with them, even whether it's family or other people, they are attracted to this master that we have, Jesus Christ. So we want to center our lives. Set your goals. How do you want to grow in the knowledge of God? How do you want your character to develop in view of the truth that we have? We are pursuing excellence beyond all limits. And how do you want to serve? How do you want to serve? What are the gifts that you have that you're going to actually order in, so that you can bring out the best in you in all these areas? And finally, you want to make sure you have a support system. And the AYP is a support system. And they have started off. And when we are talking about support, we are looking at wise counsel. We are looking at accountability. We are looking at inspiration. We are looking at mentoring and coaching. Do you have a mentor? Do you have a coach? And the AYP is doing all these things for us. So get connected to the AYP of this church because they're going to be mentors. They're going to be coaches here to support us to actually achieve those goals. Hello? AYP 2023? And beyond all limits? And so it is my humbling responsibility now to share with you how the day is going to flow today. We have received our opening prayer and opening song. We have received a welcome this morning. And just shortly, I'm going to invite uh, my pastor, Pastor J.P. Mayua, to actually come and give us a word of uh, devotion and declare this convention officially opened. After that, we're going to have our keynote presentation from my elder, Elder Kidenda, and its transformational leadership. Immediately after that, we are going to actually have round tables where you share with us some thoughts. We'll structure those questions for you. And then we'll start with our first panel, which is building business of integrity. We'll take a break then at lunchtime, and we'll have the afternoon program, Faithful Public Service. So allow me to please welcome my pastor, Pastor J.P. Mayua. And Pastor J.P. Mayua is an accomplished professional Yes, he is an accomplished professional because he loves the Lord and serves as the ordained minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so today he's going to give us a word that will inspire us, what the Lord has revealed to him to share with us. And he's currently serving as the youth director of the East Kenya Union Conference. He served as the immediate former youth director of Central Kenya Conference and served as a senior pastor of Nairobi Central SDA Church. So this church is his home church. He is home and he's inspired and humbled that you would come and the dream for young people would come to pass in this church. He has been in the preaching ministry for over 25 years and has many turn, I've seen very many people turn their eyes to Jesus. He's married to Sarah and they both have four children. And an additional one who came the other day, a retirement one, I believe, Pastor. He has served in many districts before, Nairobi Central, New Life Nairobi, New Life Minneapolis in the USA, Laser Hill in Rongai, Kiamuni in Nakuru, and Karangata, Nairobi. He also served as the Executive Secretary and Vice President of Administration at the Central Kenya Conference. He has preached in the US, in Canada, in Uganda, in Rwanda, and South Africa for camp meetings and evangelistic campaigns. He holds an MA from the Adventist University of Africa and a BA from the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton. He is currently a PhD candidate at KU. Nothing should stop you. Our pastor is a PhD candidate. He's a learner. He's pursuing excellence. Nothing should stop you. Now it's my humbling opinion uh, moment to invite Pastor JP. Please come and share the word of God that you have been given with your children. <laughs> 